You know, 4th of July used to be fun, but ever since the police ruined it by saying you can't light fireworks, I've had to come up with some new ideas for the huge crowd of people that come to my house every year looking for fun on 4th of July. I think you're going to like this. I'm Steve Spangler, and I'm all about making science fun. For the last 20 years, I've been teaching ways to turn ordinary science experiments into unforgettable learning experiences. I have an amazing team who will do whatever it takes to affect the way people think about science. And to do that, I live by one motto. Make it big, do it right, give it class. You know, nothing says 4th of July more than red cups right here uh, for soft drinks, of course. But I was thinking, uh, why not for a little science experiment? So we're going to show you a, a kind of a classic Spangler science uh, experiment using red solo cups and some dry ice. All right, for the first step, you got to put a hole in the cup. So we want a hole right here. And probably the easiest way to do that is to just use a, an X-Acto knife or some sort of knife and just kind of start to cut in just a little bit if you want and uh, finish this up with a pair of scissors. So we're just going to cut a little hole in the cup. It doesn't have to look pretty. This isn't Martha Stewart hour, I'm just putting a hole in a cup. Look at that. Magic right there. Hole in a cup. Step two, saran wrap. You need a chunk of saran wrap. It's okay, it's really, they make it so easy to get it right out of this container right here to just follow their directions. It's perfectly fine, you just need to kind of put this in here like this and just kind of pull it, a, pull it, pull it across. Like, it's pretty easy to, to get this out. You just need a small piece. So we're just gonna use a small little chunk of saran wrap. We'll use that up next time. And you're gonna stretch it right over the top like this, kind of like a little drum. That's what you want. And rubber band, secure the whole thing in place. And simply cut off the small little excess that you have over here. We're gonna recycle this for later. Next comes the best part, and that is dry ice. So get yourself a little dry ice. Now you gotta be careful because it's 78 degrees below zero Fahrenheit or 110 degrees below zero Celsius. Regardless, it's really, really cold. So when you get dry ice, um, you're gonna break it up into some small little pieces, and that's what we're looking for here, or just a couple small pieces that will fit right into the little cup. Good, there's a little piece there. This is pretty good. This guy's looking good. Perfect. All right, see, there's our dry ice in the cup. Last part is you need a little bit of water. So take some water, you're gonna pour the water into the hole, and because the dry ice is in there, we should get a little of that fog that starts to come out. That's perfect. Now, it may be too much, but this is the whole idea, is that you tap on the bottom here, and as you do that, it takes the air that's inside the cup and forces it out that hole. And that fast moving air creates uh, a little thing called Bernoulli's Principle, which is just a little vortex ring that you get to see, watch. Oh, these are looking good. That's fantastic. So what can you do with these vortex rings? We could stand around the house all day and do this, or you can invite friends over and do this, or, um, you could blow out a candle, oh, it's been done. You could decide, let's make it bigger. Well, if the red cup is fun, that means this five gallon bucket will even be better. And you just need to make some um, slight modifications to the five gallon bucket, but you'll have a perfect smoke ring launcher. And you need some tools. Well, you could try to just cut a hole in here. It's a little bit harder. That's why this little keyhole saw seems to do the, the trick. Watch this. Now you're the life of the party. We're gonna modify the lid so that there's a ring that's left. Just invite your friends over early and tell them to do this. Perfect. Who said that wasn't gonna be fun? So now we have a bucket that has a lid with a huge hole in it and a bottom that doesn't hold anything. This is perfect for our science experiment. Now you need a shower curtain. I like to use these clear shower curtains. It's perfect. They're nice and durable, and uh, they make the best little membrane. The object here is just to secure this piece of uh, vinyl in place. While you could use bungees or something, this ring seems to work really, really well, especially if you have a little tool that'll help hold it in place. It's called a hammer. 
If you don't like to blow smoke rings, just invite your friends over to listen to the song. Go for the smoke rings. Time to trim. Just cut off the excess all the way around to make it look nice and clean. And you'll have yourself the perfect smoke ring launcher. Bucket's not empty, it's actually filled with air and uh, that air can easily be pushed out. Now you could take your hand and just push it this way. We want a way to be able to see the air. That's where this little device comes in. See, it's a smoke machine. And you can find them on sale right after Halloween. You just need a small little blast inside here to help color the air. See that little bit of smoke that's inside there is exactly what you need because when you tap on the bottom, watch what happens. There's your vortex. But unlike the cup, these go really, really far. You can hit them pretty hard. I don't know what you're thinking. You want something that's more patriotic. You want it bigger. You want it colored. You want it... I got an idea. See, you got all this leftover shower curtain. Now you just need a bigger bucket. See, so you just take the rest of the shower curtain. You put it right over the bucket like this. Now we gotta secure it in place. That's where these bungee cords come in. Pull it down, stretch it tight. Now, this is not just a smoke ring launcher, it's a patriotic smoke ring launcher. It's 4th of July. See, this is the kind of activity that's gonna make your neighbors proud. Nothing says America more than a giant trash can with a shower curtain stretched over the top and some bungee cords and a couple smoke bombs. That's right, I said smoke bombs. You can't just drop smoke bombs in the trash can. It'll shoot out molten smoke bomb stuff. And then all of a sudden your trash can's on fire. You ruin the day. That's why I came up with this little idea. Now you don't have to use this kind of paint can. You can use just an old coffee can, but we are gonna make a smoker. See, we're just putting some holes in this little can so the smoke bomb can live in here and just have smoke come out and trap everything else inside. So how many holes? You can tell the neighbors tell you to stop. All right, so here's the idea. See, the smoke bomb goes down inside like this, and now you light it. Perfect, and now this goes on top, and it just keeps all of the shards from coming out, and it just oozes smoke. This is the smoke ring launcher I've used in my act for almost 20 years, uh, but I never use this kind of smoke on stage. Of course, we're just using a smoke machine. So this one, you just have to make sure that you cut the hole just a little bit bigger than the paint can, so it covers it perfectly. All right, we're ready for patriotic rings of smoke. Smoke bomb down inside. Beautiful lid on top like this. Smoke starts to come out. You simply cover it up. See, this is the only way that you can get this beautifully colored smoke. This is perfect. Now watch. As it lifts up, watch this. Get these beautiful smoke rings. Wake the kids, call the neighbors. Oh wait, that's David Letterman. What if you could use science to help you serve food at your party? I got it, watch this. And, and just because you've seen Mentos and Diet Coke does not mean that you gotta turn it off at this point. This is different, watch. First of all, we need a dropper device and I've gotta show you this one. This is clear plastic so you can see what's going on. But watch this, there's a magnet that goes on the side here and a ball bearing that comes down here. See how it holds in place like this? That's perfect, so when you pull, then everything falls at once. Next, the contraption goes on the top like this and now we drop the Mentos. See, we're just hoping that that magnet and that ball bearing holds everything in place and so far, so good. If we just pull this right now, it'd be bad because it ruins the kitchen. That's why you need to make this simple little contraption called the Super Soda Dispenser 3000. So you see, it just goes onto the very top like this. And the last thing you need, six of your best friends. So you're gonna have to limit it to six, but these are my six best friends. Anybody else? This is this. I'm gonna pull this and it's gonna drop down and hopefully, this is how we're gonna bring in this exciting time of the year. All right. You ready? Bam! Look at that. It's a soda dispenser and it's perfect. 
but you don't want to waste it all on one person. That's why we only give each person a little taste. Here you go, some for you and some for you. Cheers to Science 4th of July. Cheers. Well, now that you've got an awesome drink and you've got all your friends here and you got smoke rings, you're ready for the big finale patriotic geysers with all your friends. Where'd she go? She took off. Well, here we are for the big finale. I set this up first thing this morning and I've been waiting all day for it. You don't want to get your phone out for this. I've got three different sodas and I've colored this one red and this one white, of course, that is clear and this one blue. And now when I pull this, the Mentos are going to fall and like every great geyser, it's going to shoot up in the air. It's going to be this patriotic kind of color of red, white, and blue. Hey, you're going to want to do go. film. No, don't go. It's, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to pull these strings and it's yeah. going to be like in the sky. I got to head out. Thanks you can you can you can pull a string if you want. Just take your camera. Get, watch this. It's gonna be here. Watch this. It's really cool. Watch this. Watch. Three, two, one, go. Watch this. Ta da! Look at that. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. See, you missed it. It was awesome. This is the best year ever. Thanks for coming, everyone. Next year, I'm gonna do six geysers, not just three, six. We're gonna have some more sodas and smoke rings. Why you had to leave so early? Honey, bring the kids out. I got more geysers. The oldest trick in the book, ladies and gentlemen, three pieces of dry ice and three solo cups. One on the top, boop, boop, look at this, goes right through, it's magic. But hey, I'll do it again. That's uh, another piece of dry ice right here, right on the top. Watch this, boop, boop, and that thing goes right through it. Check that out. It's okay, I'm amazed myself. Watch this one, the third one, it's magic. It's gonna go through this way, bam, bam, bam! Booyah!